Ram, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation which is known as that. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve 2y cube plus 2 into dx plus 3xy square into dy equals to 0. Solution. Given differential equation. y cube plus 2 to dx plus 3xy square into dy equals to 0. Consider as equation 1 which is in m dx plus n dy equals to 0 form. By comparing these two we we'll get m and n. Coefficient of differential dx is your m and coefficient of differential dy is your n. Where m equals to 2y cube plus 2 and n equals to 3xy square. If the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x, then we can say that the given differential equation is an exact equation. So now let's find the partial derivatives of n with respect to y and n with respect to x. This is your m and this is your n. Partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to dou by dou y of for m equals to 2y cube plus 2. Since we are doing partial derivative with respect to y, so here x will be treated as constant. Here we don't have any x, right? Partial derivative of first term with respect to y plus partial derivative of second term with respect to y is equals to constant into partial derivative of y cube with respect to y plus partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0. This is equals to 2 into partial derivative of y cube with respect to y is 3y square. This is equals to 2 3s are 6 y square. Therefore, partial derivative of m with respect to y is equals to 6y square. Now let's find the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Partial derivative of n with respect to x is equal to dou by dou x so for n equals to 3x y square. Here we are doing partial derivative with respect to x. So y will be treated as constant. Here 3 and y square are constant. This is equal to constant into partial derivative of x with respect to x. Equals to 3y square into partial derivative of x with respect to x is 1. Equals to 3y square. Therefore partial derivative of n with respect to x is 3y square. Right? So it's clear that the partial derivative of m with respect to y is not equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x. Therefore, dou m by dou y is not equal to dou n by dou x. From this we can say that the given differential equation that is 1 is non x that. Right? Now, we need to reduce the given equation to x at equation using integrating factor. Okay, fine. So, the given equation is non-exact n. It is a non-homogeneous equation. See, the power, the, the power of the first term, we are having y cube, right? 3 is the power of the first term and here you are having constant 
and here you are having at the pause 1 plus 2 is 3. Since you are having constant, so we can say that it is a non-homogeneous differential equation. We need to get equal same parts, right? If each term has same parts, then we can say that it is homogeneous. So, the given equation is non-homogeneous. N is also not in y into some function of x, y into dx plus x into some function of x, y into dy equals to 0. So now, this is square, right? You notice n, partial derivative of m and n, you are having y square, right? So, by using 1 by n times dou m by dou y minus dou n by dou x, y square gets cancelled and we will get the function of x alone. So, let's see. 1 by 3xy square into partial derivative of m with respect to y is 6y square minus partial derivative of m with respect to x is 3y square which is equals to 1 by 3xy square into 6y square minus 3y square is 3y square is equals to 3y square by 3xy square. So here 3 and y square gets cancelled. We will get 1 by x which is a function of x alone. Function of x l right here we don't have any y's right it does not contain any y so we call it as function of x alone we can name it as f of x now we can find integrating factor therefore 1 by n times partial derivative of m with respect to y minus partial derivative of n with respect to x equals to 1 by x equals to f of x. Our integrating factor is e power integral f of x into dx. Okay. If we get any real number instead of f of x instead of f of x if we get any real number say k then e power integral k into dx will be our integrating factor so now let's find the integrating factor is equals to e power integral f of x into dx equals to e power integral 1 by x dx is log mod x. Again, you can write this as e power log x. We know that e power log m equals to m. Then this becomes x. Right? So, the given equation can be reduced to an exact equation by multiplying it with this integrating factor. x times 2y cube that is the given equation gives actually this is a exact equation so we'll see consider it as equation 2 x into 2y cube plus 2 into dx plus x into 
3xy square into dy equals to 0. Then 2xy cube plus 2x into dx plus 3 into x into x, x square y square into dy equals to 0, which is in m1 dx plus m1 dy equals to 0 form. where m1 equals to 2xy cube plus 2x and n1 equals to 3x square y square. If the partial derivative of m, that is m1, with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of m1 with respect to x, then we can say that equation 2 or the equation in m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 is an exact equation. So now let's find the partial derivatives of m1 with respect to y and n1 with respect to x. Okay. We are having m1 equals to 2xy cube plus 2x and n1 equals to 3x square y square. Partial derivative of m1 with respect to y equals to dou y dou y of for m1 2xy cube plus 2x. Here we are doing partial derivative with respect to y so x will be treated as constant. This equals to partial derivative of first term plus partial derivative of second term is equals to constant into partial derivative of y cube with respect to y plus partial derivative of constant with respect to y is 0 equals to 2x into partial derivative of y cube with respect to y is 3y square which is equals to 2 these are 6 x y square therefore Partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is 6x y squared. Now let's find the partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. Partial derivative of n1 with respect to x equals to dou y dou x so for n1. 3x square y square. Here we are doing partial derivative with respect to x so y will be treated as constant. This equals to constant into partial derivative of x square with respect to x equals to 3y square into partial derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x. 3 2s are 6, xy square. Therefore, partial derivative of n1 with respect to x is 6xy square. So it's clear that the partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x. From this we can say that the reduced equation that is equation 2 is an exact equation. Therefore, partial derivative of m1 with respect to y is equal to partial derivative of n1 with respect to x equals to 6xy square. From this we can say that equation 2 that is the equation obtained by multiplying the given equation with the integrating factor is an exact equation. Fine. Now, we need to find the general solution to the given equation. So, the general solution of equation 2 will be the general solution of equation 1. The general solution of equation 2, that is the general solution of exact equation. You know that the general solution of an exact equation which is in m1 dx plus n1 dy equals to 0 form is given by integral over x m1 dx plus integral of 
turns off n1 free from x into dy equals to c. Now that's the first integral. Integral over x m1 dx. Here we'll be integrating m1 with respect to x treating y as constant. Is equals integral of 2xy cube plus 2x into dx for m1 equals to 2xy cube plus 2x is equals to integral 2xy cube dx plus integral 2x dx. Now let's write the constants outside the integral. 2y cube and 2 are constants, right? 2y cube integral x dx plus 2 integral x dx is equals to 2y cube into integral x dx is x square by 2 plus 2 into integral x dx is x square by 2 which is equals to here 2 gets cancelled x square y cube plus x square. Therefore, integral over x m1 dx is x square y cube plus x square. Now let's find or evaluate the second integral. Integral of terms of n1 free from x into dy. We are having n1 equals to 3x square y square, right? Term involves x. So, terms of n1 free from x is 0. We don't have such term which is free from x. Okay? 0 to dy equals to 0. Now, coming to the general solution of the given equation. Therefore, the general solution of 1 is result obtained from the first integral x square y cube plus x square Plus result obtained from the second integral, the 0 equals to constant. Then, x squared by q plus x squared equals to c is the required solution or you can take x squared common from these two terms and you will get x squared times y q plus 1 equals to c. So, this completes the problem. So, we have seen a problem from a non-exact equation in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.